Surprise! I'm back in quarantine. I tested positive for COVID. Again. Here we are. There's not much to say. I... I'm in quarantine. If you guys have been around, you probably remember I tested positive for COVID like six months ago and maybe seven months ago and here we are again. But this time is a lot different because I feel totally fine. Believe it or not, I actually just signed on today. I went home for a wedding I was in. Today was my sign on and I was meant to go right to rehearsals, a tech run, and then I think we had a show tomorrow. That was the plan originally. And I flew into Helsinki this morning at like 11.30, went through passport control, and then the company provided a transport from the airport to the ship. So I signed on, I went right to get my antigen test, hand in my medical paperwork, and then be on my merry way. But the test came back positive, like very positive, and I'm very much confused about that, but you know what? It is what it is. So I thought, because I had such a fun time in quarantine last time, that I would just bring you guys along again. Not bring you, because I'm not going anywhere, but I thought I would show you what quarantine looks like for me on board a cruise ship. So if you haven't seen the other COVID at sea vlog I posted, like check that out because I'm sure there's a lot of questions you have and I most likely answered it in that video. Can you hear that behind me? I don't know, they're doing some kind of construction and it's very annoying, but not 100% sure how long I'm gonna be in here. It might be five days, it might be 10. It's very unclear and a little bit unorganized at the moment so it could be five days of quarantine and then five days of soft quarantine but also I heard rumor that maybe I'm in here for 10 days last time I stayed in for 10 full days so that's that but we're gonna make it a fun experience we're gonna turn it into something positive because when life gives you lemons you know what I mean on the plus side I have this beautiful porthole so I can people watch I obviously can't get off in the ports, but I can look from afar. I have service from the room. I have a huge bed, which is delightful. And I didn't even have to pack anything from my crew cabin since I already had everything packed from sign on. So those are all pluses. On the downside, I don't have any snacks with me. I don't have shampoo, conditioner, body wash, razor, none of that because that's all in my cabin. So I'll have to get that delivered. Yeah, I wasn't able to place an order or like request certain meals and that might be an issue since I'm severely allergic to fish and I don't eat meat. So I'm sure we'll get that sorted. But the lady on the phone at room service is an absolute angel though because I asked if she could bring some type of fruit to the room since the lunch they brought me was chicken. So she brought me three bananas and if you guys know, I love my bananas. So that is a plus. So for this quarantine, I'm in Kevin 2294. I'm really close to Studio B. I'm like smack in the center of the ship. And this is what my cabin looks like. So it is a guest cabin once again. I have this beautiful bed with this beautiful window. And yeah, there's not much to see. Uh, TV, some cabinet space, this is the desk space. They gave me a kettle, which is phenomenal. I've got some mugs. I don't have any coffee or tea yet in the room, but we'll get to that. There's a little mini fridge situation. Full length mirror, little couch with my bags. Haven't done anything with those. And then of course, the bathroom. So shower, toilet, sink. And that's pretty much it. I have been traveling for like 24 hours, so I'm looking extremely haggard. My hair is a mess, my skin is so greasy, <laughs> and I don't have anything to wash it. So really hoping that I can get that stuff soon. Is there any way I can have extra fruit delivered with each meal? Thank you so much. Okay, bye. So I guess it's a little different this time from adventure. When I was in quarantine on my last contract, we ordered our food via like a QR code. This time we're just doing it manually, I guess. So they're just gonna call me each day 
to pick out what I want to eat. So, I mean, that was really easy. Hello. Hello. I'm going to leave this for you, but not watching now. Yeah. Just press here. Good morning. Okay. Good morning. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I just got my temperature checked, and this is new. I feel very high tech. My hair, something needs to happen with my hair. <laughs> it's horrendous. But I don't know what this is called, but you know what this thing is? Like you put your finger in it, a electronic thermometer. So she left both of these for me. I'm supposed to take my own temperature. Then the doctors are gonna call me every day and I have to report to them. I'm getting a little cold though. I don't know if it's just because the air is cranked or if like I'm getting symptoms, but I'm gonna put a hoodie on. There we go. New merch is on. And now it's time to edit. just delivered dinner and I'm actually pleasantly surprised that it's served in like real bowls and plates because usually it's paper boxes but they've given me chicken parm and some spaghetti with one broccoli <laughs> I find that comical and then a little garden salad I got my guts now I can wash my hair tonight <laughs> Savannah put all of my stuff from my cavern into some little bags. So now I've got snacks, I've got shampoo and conditioner, I've got tea. I am set and I'm so excited. I think y'all want an unboxing, even though it's not a new order. Starting with this bag, shampoo and conditioner, some body wash, my loofah, packs of emergency, cotton rounds, and my micellar water. One and a half kilo of dry oats, honey, cinnamon, some tea bags, peanut butter, of course. Savannah was a saint, and she picked me up some almond milk and some instant coffee for the morning, or for the whole day for that matter. And then she must have bought me a chocolate bar because she's the sweetest. And this one looks phenomenal. And luckily I'm not feeling too sick. I did wake up with a little bit of like cold like symptoms So I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. I feel like I can hear it more than what it actually sounds like Definitely not nearly as bad as last time I had COVID. Thank goodness. My hair has a mind of its own today as it usually does But yeah, I'm in good spirits I think I'm just now processing the fact that I will not be able to see Rolling Stones in concert. We literally, we just bought tickets to go see the Rolling Stones in two, three weeks. In Stockholm. In Stockholm. Okay, can you message me? What is our life? Which I was so looking forward to and I'm really, really, really disappointed about. So like all of my friends are still going, but I can't go, which is very sad, but you know. 
it is what it is. I'm going to try and resell my ticket on Ticketmaster because that's where I ordered it. And if I can't, then it was like 75 bucks. So that's the plan. I'm going to try and drink a lot of water today. They gave me these like one and a half liter water bottles. So I'm going to try and drink a bunch, have a lot of tea. I did have a pack of emergency this morning. So I'm going to keep trying to have those maybe twice a day. They just dropped off lunch and I'm really a little bit annoyed because yesterday I specifically said that I don't eat meat and they dropped me off chicken again and I like confirmed that they would bring me a vegetarian meal so I'm gonna call them and see if they can bring something else. We've got two bread rolls, a little side salad and then this is I want to say chicken or pork not really sure some vegetables mashed potato, and then I think some sauce. Um, not so sure about this. The food is freezing cold. It's not even like lukewarm. It's cold. I'm not really honestly that hungry anyways. Second emergency of the day. Cheers. I'm starting to feel a little sick. I actually went to lay down for like 30 minutes and that quickly turned into a two hour nap. And now that I've woken up from my nap, I have quite a pounding headache. That's fun. Not going to be as productive as I thought I would today. I don't think I should exercise. Probably not the best idea considering how I'm feeling and just low energy, but I will say the nap did help me out a lot. That partially could also be the fact that I am jet lagged, but who knows at this point. They just dropped off dinner and honestly not sure what they gave me, so let's take a peek. So as usual, side salad and another roll. And then in here we've got rice, all right? and eggplant parm. I don't know why they give me rice with that, but you know what? I will take the eggplant parm. And also like french fries, it's so random. And then there's like these two little apple strudel kind of dessert things. I don't know why they gave me two. I'm kind of in the mood for something sweet, so I'm going to try this chocolate bar that Savannah got for me. I think it's impossible for it to not be delicious, you know? Oh my God. Does this not look like the golden ticket from Willy Wonka? That's delicious. I got these little eye patches for my birthday and I really want to use them tonight. These patches are just from Pixie Beauty. They are the Beautify Brightening Eye Patches. Spatula. I was supposed to leave this on for like 10 minutes, so um, in the meantime, I will just read my book. I'm feeling a lot better today. Definitely had a good night of sleep. However, I did still wake up with this massive headache 
It's a little bit less than yesterday, so that's a plus. So I'm waiting for the nurse to call me to give her my vitals. Is that even what you call them? So when she does call for that, I'm going to ask for some Tylenol since I don't have anything with me here. I do really want to work out today. I feel like I have enough energy for that, but I think jumping or any kind of like movement will just make my headache worse. So I'm going to wait till I have some medicine. I'm really hoping that when they test me on day five and day six, my tests come back negative so that I can just do like a soft quarantine in my old room, but I can like come and go. I can go to work. I can skate. So really hoping for that, but I'm definitely feeling more like myself today and I'm so happy about that. Not that I was that sick yesterday, but like I napped yesterday for a solid like two to three hours. I don't nap. So if that tells you anything, then I wasn't feeling my best. I've got my thermometer and my fingertip pulse oximeter. I think I said that right. And now for my temperature, I have to wait till it says low. It says 97.5. So we're gonna go with that. fine and ever since I took the uh, Tylenol my headache has completely gone away so that's a plus so I'm gonna do a Lily Sabri video I have on my laptop right here and I don't have weights but I do have one and a half liter water bottles so I feel like that's enough especially because I haven't worked out in a few days I don't want to jump into it too intensely predict this is a salad yeah oh and they did bring me my Splenda finally I had a really good workout and it felt so good to move again like it's been a few days obviously because I was traveling and then I haven't really felt the best so I've been laying low but it felt so nice to work out today and I'm excited to do a little more tomorrow on a sad note though, my cabin is right next to Studio B and my cast is doing a tech run right now and I just heard my solo music play and like, I think it nearly broke me. Like, I'm so sad that I can't be performing in the show tomorrow. I get a lot of questions about if someone is sick or injured, like if we have backups and we have understudies that's what they're called so we have a first understudy and a second understudy so Alex is my main understudy but since she is also sick with COVID Lisa is doing her solo and my solo so she is an absolute champ for doing two understudy solos but I am just gutted that I can't perform
tonight's sunset is even more beautiful than yesterday. Look at that. And I have a prime seat to watch. Day four breakfast is here, so we've got a roll, pastry, eggs, hash brown, and bacon and sausage. I actually slept in today. Sleeping in for me is like nine o'clock, so really not anything crazy, but I went to bed at like two o'clock. I just like could not fall asleep. I had a, a little bit of an unpleasant wake up though because I was still in bed. I had already woken up and I got a really loud knock at the door, which I thought was breakfast. And then, like, not two seconds later, I get a phone call. The nurse yelled at me and was like, you need to open the door now. So I did. I opened the door, good morning. And she was like, you need to answer the door when it knocks. And I was like, I was, I was in bed. Like, you knocked and gave me half a second. So that was a bit unpleasant. She must be having a rough day. Sorry for her. She definitely gave me a little bit of unnecessary attitude. And also, like, I have COVID, so... If I'm in bed, and it's not like it's like 2 in the afternoon, you know what I mean? It was like 9 a.m., so whatever. It is what it is. I have my morning coffee. I am in a great mood despite that little hiccup, and I've just been chilling watching This Is Us. I think we are arriving in Poland, but again, the sea looks the same everywhere we are, so yeah. <laughs> shower and I decided to put on something a little nicer for the day just because um, I'm still like extremely comfortable but I have on my new set from Princess Polly which I'm absolutely obsessed with it's just this little pink shorts and bralette set but I feel like this is perfect for running errands you can throw a button down over it I don't know it's just so cute and it's so comfortable because it's like a knitted material so that's what I'm wearing and lunch arrived and I'm very excited to share today's lunch so I don't know what happened to my tray because I used to have like a lunch tray to bring stuff in it's missing now who knows but I got a cake thing they always give a dessert I got some fruit which is very exciting because I could literally live off of fruit I love fruit and then I was on the phone with a girl yesterday talking about how every meal is meat that they bring so they have kind of prepared a little mixed salad for me which is so nice with some kidney beans some cucumber red peppers and then I have balsamic vinegar that's like my main meal and naturally every meal comes with side salad so <laughs> I have another side salad so I'm just going to combine the two but I'm actually really excited about that and they brought me bananas for the icing on the cake long awaited so they are looking a little bit tired so I should probably eat them ASAP before they go bad but so happy <laughs> Here is dinner tonight. We've got eggplant parm, some vegetables, mashed potatoes, bread rolls, and salad as usual. Also, I ate more of this chocolate because it's so delicious. Yeah, literally so good. Bye, Poland. Wish I could have hung out with you today. <laughs>
bad news. Technically, today is day four, even though I spent the entire day in isolation the first day, that counted as day zero. So I'm not getting tested until tomorrow, which means another day in quarantine. Ugh. When they mean five, they actually mean six. All I know is that this test better come back negative tomorrow because I will lose my mind if it doesn't. Well, that really sucks. Uh, was really looking forward to hopefully getting out tomorrow, but it might just have to be another day. dinner I think I'm gonna just make oatmeal I kind of run out of options but I'm I'm happy with oatmeal because I love oatmeal Good morning guys, it is day six of quarantine and today I think I just got a knock to get tested. Today's the day I'm getting tested, so fingers crossed it comes back negative. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, how are you? Thank you. Okay, thank you. So I just got tested. I have to get tested again tomorrow at like nine o'clock and both of them have to come back negative. So I'm going to be stressing for the next hour waiting for that phone call to tell me if that test was positive or negative. <laughs> I really don't want to do 10 days in quarantine. One hour later. Hello? Hi. Amazing. <laughs> okay. Thank you. My test was negative. Yes. Got one test down. One to go, and then that means I'm gonna be out of isolation, and then I have to do soft quarantine, but like, that doesn't matter. going to be released from isolation I am feeling a little bit antsy and like anxious about getting tested because Alex got tested like almost an hour ago I called the nurses to ask them when they're coming they gave me no information so I'm just like pacing around waiting for a knock at the door to get tested and then hopefully I'm out of here by like noon but again it's already 10 20 so Still haven't been tested. Hello. I'm sorry. Okay. okay. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. All right. <sighs> Send a prayer. Okay, moment of truth. Hello? Amazing. Yay, thank you so much. <laughs> okay, at four o'clock. Thank you, you too, bye. Freedom is mine. Stop. 
god. Shut up. <gasps> I'm gonna cry. Oh. Oh my god, this is too much. This is, my stuff is outside still. <laughs> My friends are the sweetest humans alive. God, I am really grateful for the people in my life. As if I wasn't already on a high from getting released, this just like made my entire week. Yeah, it makes me really happy, so this is just the sweetest thing ever. But it is around two o'clock now, so I am going to unpack everything. Not that I have so, so much to unpack, but I just want to settle in since I haven't been in the room. So that's what I'm going to do now, and then tonight I'm going to skate for the first time in a while, and I cannot wait. So skating was a little bit rough, not gonna lie. <laughs> Definitely gonna go back tomorrow and do a little bit more. Well, more than a little. I'm gonna do a lot more tomorrow. The main focus for today was just get my skates on, get a feel for the ice again, and my body. Um, I just kind of felt like all over the place in the air. So hopefully tomorrow is better. But I'm very happy to be out of quarantine. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching the whole process of... COVID 2.0. Quarantine actually went by really fast and was super productive for me. So, so all around, not too shabby. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to be out to go back in ports and bring you guys along for more adventures. So thank you so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to subscribe. If you've made it this far in the video, honestly, kudos to you because this is a long one, but yeah, I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.